Hey boys and girls, welcome to another episode of Combo Coloring Tips and Tricks. This is episode 26, and we'll be talking about uh, screens, TV monitors, uh, computer screens, what have you. Uh, this is a video based on a, uh, a request from a subscriber, and the question was, how do I handle, uh, you know, those like monitors or uh, computer screens, what have you, um, and more specifically, how do I approach it when the artist hasn't drawn anything? So I have this uh, this image uh, from a panel from an upcoming project. Uh, don't really can't really talk about it right now, but as soon as uh, get the go ahead, you know, I'll go ahead and put all the information, um, you know, do a journal on DeviantArt or post about it on my uh, Facebook fan page, and uh, so. Yeah, in this panel here, the artist didn't uh, didn't have anything drawn on the computer screens. You see, like some light little reflection lines, but that was about it. Um, usually, the way I approach it, and because it's, I usually don't put anything in there. I'll just go ahead and get my selection going. Then I'll just do, you know. So I'll highlight in the middle or something like that, something simple. You know, just show something like that, and then uh, on top of my line art. And I know I keep on saying the glow uh, and special effects video is coming up, and it is. I'm working on it right now. Uh, some of the videos take take a little bit longer to uh, uh, to come up with, and I have a couple. Others planned. I, I'm working on like five different videos at the same time, doing research, getting all the notes together, and everything like that. But it's coming, so just bear with me. Um, but yeah, on top of my line art, you know, I get like a light and uh, layer style going. Oops, let me. Oh, I have my brush set to darken color for another video I was working on. <laughs> all right, so let's go to soft brush. And that's on normal. Then you know, just put the just put a slight glow on these panels. And usually the colors, this is a, I guess like a, a good guy base, you know. So I have you know it's a nice peaceful environment. It's just two people talking. So I'll have like you know nice blue. Uh, colors going on and it kind of goes back to one of my other videos where I was talking about the meaning of certain colors and blue would be you know nice and peaceful you know they're not uh, anything drastic going on you know if there's like danger you could do like red screens you know they're like uh, getting ready for war you know like in a war room or something like that so you might do red screens if it's like in a high-tech environment if the comic was very high-tech you might do like you know green kind of matrix looking screens or something like that but in this case you know just went blue nice and peaceful it's not uh there's kind of there in the background for ambiance it's not really uh, a light source for it or anything like that so um didn't want anything that's going to pop out too much so usually this is the way i would just approach it you know it's my job to color what's there and that's what i'm doing um it's the artist's job. You know, if the artist wants something on the screens, it's his job. He's getting paid for it, you know, to put to put the uh, the stuff on the screen. Or maybe he might, you know, give you images that he wants on there. If it's, like, from a previous panel, like it's a video monitor or something like that, you know, he should provide that for you, and then you could put that in there or whatever. Um, if there's some kind of deal, you know, with the with the creator of the book if it's the writer or maybe the artist that's you know paying you to do it and they want you to add that stuff later on you should always make sure you're getting compensated a little bit extra for that work um you know don't let anybody step all over you take advantage of you or anything like that it's tough enough you know coloring the project uh, any additional work that that they want you to do you should get compensated for that uh but with that said um let's say if we wanted to add something to these to these monitors uh, what I had set up, and it took a little bit to to make, um, of a couple different groups, and each group is like a different screen right here, and it's just random gobbledygook. You know, if you, if I zoom in really close, it's just like a digital font, you know, just gibberish, uh, random like an equalizer screen, uh, 
you know, random shapes, some grid work, whatever. Uh, here's some like sine waves, uh, sound waves, uh, you know, just different, you know, it could be a heart rate for all I know. Uh, you just take those, just kind of build them out. Uh, you know, just got some kind of graphical elements. You can see it's just very basic. It's just the same font uh, over and over, you know, but it's, again, it's not important. So, you know, from a distance, you don't really need to see it. You just need to see that there's something on there. And again, I just did these as blue screens. Um, you know, if it's in a war room, you'd make them, you know, red, and you could probably just do that, you know, with the hue saturation layer on top of it and just colorize it. Um, you know, you can make them kind of kind of matrixy, or you know, for for a danger room or something like that. Bad guys are coming. We're watching them. Whatever. Uh, let's get rid of that. And so each one of these is something different. And what we can do, uh, you know, once you build these up, let me let me go in and I'll show you uh, one of these. Which is yeah, this is this one on top here. So you can see, you know, have just have like a bunch of different layers. Here's like the main layer, and then you know, insides, a bunch of squares. Very simple, a simple grid. You just build it. Then, you know, the, the wave on top of it. Here's another wave on top of it. Here's some text. Black shape. More text. And, you know, you could take these elements and you can, like, move them around. That's why I just had them in groups in case I wanted to, you know, build out more screens. I could take some of these elements, rearrange them, and all of a sudden have different looking screens. Just as long as they're not side by side to each other. It'll look like you spent a lot of hours putting in a lot of extra work when you're just, like, reusing stuff that you already built. Um... Let me go ahead and just flatten these. It'll make it a lot easier. Looks like I had a little bit extra grid work right here. And this would be something, you know, it'd be great just to have, uh, you know, save the file, uh, your PSD, uh, probably with the layer group still. Uh, that way there you can always come back to it and you can reuse these same uh, screens for other projects, you know, as part of your, uh, part of your morgue file. And hope to that's it that's on my list as well <laughs> like what i'm talking about with the morgue file and you know just kind of walk you guys through it um because I, I know I, I mentioned it a lot um but it's very important saves a lot of time if you already have stuff pre-built so let's take this guy right here and we'll just select our whole canvas and copy it and that's the only thing on that layer on that layer so that's all it's going to get copied um let's see turn off that glow We'll go underneath our line art, so right above our colors. And, you know, we can take this, put it in here, and we'll go to our transform. If you go to, uh, let's see, where is it at? I usually just use a shortcut. It's Command T or Control T on a on a PC. Oops, let me, let me quit that. There we go. Um, let me see, image and then transform, I believe. Oh, edit transform, that's what it is. And I'm just going to the, just using regular free transform. That way there I, could, I can move these different handles, you know, any way I want. Um, and we're just gonna follow the artist lines here. And that'll make sure it's in uh, proper perspective and everything for what's drawn. And I'll just kind of line these up. Uh, maybe I'll get rid of that, that top part. Get this all lined up here bring this down a little bit so you can see it's following the shape of uh, of this screen that we have here let's go ahead and apply that and I could select the monitors and I could do a, a quick mask in case I want to go back and and uh, uh, mess with it a little bit more or whatever um, so we have that in here we could do like a screen oops, maybe not a screen multiply or something um, see what an overlay looks like. No, I can't see that either. Well, I guess if I, if I had set it up differently, we can try it, you know, play around with the uh, different layer modes, but for our exercises, this is gonna work fine. Then we can go change that from a, a lightened layer to a screen layer, and that'll just kind of brighten that up a little bit. We can see how easily, you know, you just taking these little guys here Probably would have worked better if had I had like a lighter, lighter color on these guys. 
but you can take these already made screens and just plop them in wherever you need them. But again, it's taking more of your time. You could be coloring other pages and, you know, making more money. So you want to make sure you're getting paid for this extra extra time you're spending on it. So let's oops, select our screens again. And then again, just do a, uh, a quick mask on that. Or layer mask, sorry. So, you know, you can fill it up like that really easily. Um, yeah, I think that's, that's going to about do it. You know, really quick fast. Um, the, the tough part is spending all the time building screens. But again, you only do that once. Once you have them all, you're good to go. Um, so yeah, that's going to do it for this episode. It's quick. <laughs> um, yeah, if you haven't already, stop by my DeviantArt page to check out more of my work. It's lumage.deviantart.com and uh, my uh, Facebook fan page. I'll put the link uh, for that and the uh, DeviantArt page in the in the description of the video and yeah, I hope to have updates for you soon when uh, when I can show off this project more um, you know really happy with the way it came out it's working with uh, writer Quentin Miles again he's the same guy they did uh, that I worked with on template uh, really awesome stuff so yeah I'm looking forward to, to being able to show it off a little bit more um, yeah if you have any questions or comments leave them uh, leave them here on the Facebook page um, yeah, that's going to do it. So thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.